I don't know if we're live. Hello. I, I can't. I can't help but throw some bag in. Even though I can't, there's no way I can do the dance. Wake up, wake up. It's a Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Wake up. So we're talking about love muscles today. This song is talking about real muscles. <laughs> As you come in, say what's up, say hello. I want to have a pre Thanksgiving talk about love, healing. Gotta keep it fun, y'all. And this song is stuck in my head lately. I had to buy the clean version. All right, all right, all right. As you come in, say hello, say what's up. Tell me how your Tuesday is. Your Thanksgiving Eve Eve. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if I can turn it off. There we go. So we're going to talk about body. Not big breasts, slim waist, curvy. Not that body, but we're going to talk all about love muscles. Love muscles. So hello, hello, hello. For those of you that are new to me, Hi, my name is Brooke Sidney. I'm a spiritual transformation coach, otherwise known as the Upgrade Queen. I love, in fact, it's my passion and my purpose right now to awaken queens. I do that by helping women, my high, powerful, successful women that we've been taught that being smart is all that matters. Being smart is what makes you successful. And we've buried our heartbreak. We've buried our pains and we've allowed the disappointments to build and build and build. So what I do is I help those women, I help women just like you that are watching, transform that pain into power, that heartbreak into living heart open, right? Heart free, heart led to transform what we consider our messes and mistakes into beautiful, freaking beautiful manifestations and miracles in our lives, right? And really transform any trauma, right? We all have it whether it came from the last breakup, that last relationship, or from your childhood. But today I wanted to talk about, I really wanted to get on and talk about healing. And before I jump in, I want you to know I have a brand new community here on Facebook called Awaken Your Inner Queen. It's where women are coming together to go on this healing journey, to support one another, to share. And of course, I'm hosting inside of that teachings, classes. I got a master class coming up starting next week um, called Meet Your Inner Queen, Letting That Past Hurt Go. Because I really want us as women to get on top of the pain, right? To truly understand what we've got um, kind of underneath the surface, what we've got underneath the hatch, what we're carrying in here, as well as what's really got into our system, our body and everything. That's why I love that song, Body. It's stuck in my head. Um, but so my masterclass is starting November 30th. I've got giveaways, contests, surprises. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we're popping champagne on Monday. Super, super excited. The doors are opening to the group as well as beginning that masterclass. So meet your inner queen and we're letting that past hurt go. So I'm inviting you to join me. It's totally, totally free. Um, and then... I have some Black Friday specials dropping soon. But I wanted to get on today to talk about love, healing, and growth, and how we can truly build our love muscles. And it's so hilarious that um, it is November 24th, a couple of days before Thanksgiving, and as luck would have it, spirit would have it, God would have it. I'm on here talking about how we can truly grow and how we can truly heal. And, and I believe some ways in which we know that we're healing. So many of you already know my story, divorced, even before that, 
heartbreak way before that, different things that I've gone through um, where I feel like I've been down and out money-wise, down and out um, relationship-wise, and even, even at some points, often feeling by myself. I now live in California. Um, I've made friends, but most of my most of my family, so I'm really feeling it during the holidays, is on the East Coast. So, or in Denver. So I say that to say that I um, I feel like God has given me my share of things that I can heal and transform, and that's why I'm able to truly help other women, um, no matter what you're experiencing transform it into into power right into power i believe the things that we've been given our experiences whoo they are the foundation they're the blocks in which we can build our success they're the blocks in which we can manifest more of all the things that we want in our life and and i'm living proof i'm totally living proof and so today as i am getting on between legal calls author coaching calls and queen frequency calls. I wanted to talk about um, some of the benchmarks and some of the ways that we can know that we are truly healing the heartbreak and not letting it go by. So one of the things that's interesting this past week, um, I had been putting out little posts asking people questions about healing, questions about heartbreak, because I'm so curious as to how people are moving through these things in life. Because as long as we are on this planet, as long as we are here, we are going to experience pain. Now we don't have to suffer. That's another whole conversation. Jump into the jump into the group, jump into the community. I'll bring you into that vortex. I'll bring you into that understanding. We're all gonna have pain, but it's how we get through it and what we do with it that I truly believe matters. And so um, I was really curious as to the people that responded saying that they believe that time heals pain, heartbreak, disappointment. And I can honestly say that I understand that sentiment. I truly get the memes. I truly get the quotes. But time in and of itself actually really doesn't heal anything. In fact, time plus problem and no awareness and no seeking to heal or seeking to understand what's going on, peeling back the layers, time actually can actually make the problem worse, right? Time can allow pain, heartbreak, childhood wounds, all of those things to fester, right? Live inside of us, our body. There's a great book called Our Body Keeps Score with trauma. We take on these experiences with us and time is not the thing that makes you heal. You make you heal. God, spirit puts people on your paths, coaches, therapists to facilitate that. Amazing books, amazing programs. Um, amazing support systems that guide us through, right? That guide us along this inner work, this inner healing journey. But time, I'm not a believer that time heals things, right? In fact, I'm a believer that time can allow things to go unnoticed and actually make the problem worse. Because what ends up happening, if we're not careful, especially I'm speaking now to all my smart ladies, I'm speaking to me, especially me five years ago, I'm speaking to all of us that were told that our brains are so powerful and our brains are the answers. We will let the heart work, the heart trauma, the heart pain, we'll talk ourselves out of it. We'll talk ourselves you know, past it. Um, I was talking, I think, last week or so about how I got fired from a coach because I was like trying to skip steps because my mind was like, nope, I want this. I want to do that. I want to bypass all the yucky hard stuff, the feeling it, that part. But if we think that time is going to do it for us, then we're actually shortchanging our healing. We're, we're truly bypassing it. And that's where if we don't actually do the healing work, we don't process it, we don't allow it to come up, that's where we... Uh, run the risk of then allowing that pain to not only repeat itself, but become the filter with which we see ourselves, we see others, even God. And so what I have found is that once we start doing the work, um, for me, I've got, I've had therapists, I've had coaches, I've had several great coaches. That's now why, that's one of the reasons why I am one now. Um, I've had friends, I've had books, I've had programs, I've had yoga, I've had mindfulness training, I've had coaching certifications. 
and I've had amazing friends and family. The list goes on because healing doesn't happen in a vacuum, right? Um, we decide when we want to heal. Like things happen to us. We can get into the energetics of it. So you can, you know, have multiple conversations about why it came. To me, the most important conversations that I guide my clients to is what have you learned from it and what meaning do you care to give to it? What meaning is going to serve you in your human evolution, your human revolution, and the people that are around you that are watching you, like our kids, like our spouses, like the people that we love, right? How can we turn our pain, our heartbreak, our disappointment, our past hurts into something that's powerful, that propels us forward, that gives our lives even greater meaning? That's what I help women do. That's what I help women do. So jump in my group. Um... But time, time's not going to heal. Time is not a healer. It's a beautiful sentiment. It doesn't work. We actually have to do the work. But there are some, I would say, ways that we know that we're building our love muscles. Okay, are building our love muscles. That's what we're talking about today. How do we build them? We build them by going and doing the work. We build our love muscles by becoming aware and conscious of our pain, being present to it, allowing it, processing it, and then deciding what meaning we want to give it. That's when we start to build some of our love muscles. We start to build our love muscles when we are able to say loving and kind words to others as well as ourselves. When we're able to truly keep ourselves open remain vulnerable. I mean, I actually wrote a post about it today that goes into it, so I encourage you to read it. There are several mile posts along this healing journey that we know that we're making progress. Some of them, as you all mentioned, you know, in my in my post with the questions about how you feel better. You definitely feel better, but you'll know by your own responses if you're truly healing the past hurt, the pain, the disappointment, and the childhood wounds. And the biggest way that you know that you're building your love muscles is when you're truly, 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 hear me, hear me, you're choosing love over fear. Because when we go through things, we put up walls, we put up barriers, we become highly triggered, highly reactive. It's really hard to get present. It's really hard to listen, especially when we're walking around with wounds. It's even Beloved, it's, it's really, really hard even to hear God. It's hard to hear our intuition. All of it becomes blocked. In my sessions with my clients, I talk about it on the mental level, the heart level, and the energetic level. And so when we're able to not only consciously choose love over fear, but we're able to live from a heart open place, when we're able to still feel loving despite of past pain, in spite of past hurt, when we're able to still be vulnerable to share our truest selves, our fullest selves, our authentic selves, even when it's scary, when we're able to give love and not expect it in return, and when we know that our loving self, our queen self, is going to be okay no matter what comes. No matter, no matter what comes, come what may, we're going to be okay. That's when we know that we have broken ground and that the fruit of our work, our fruit of the seeds of continuing to show up for ourselves, to do the healing work, to work with coaches just like me, hello, 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 um, that we're making progress. And so today... On the Tuesday, the eve, before the eve of Thanksgiving, I'm asking you to celebrate the love muscles that you're building right now, the energy that you're putting forth to make those loving steps, to keep yourself open, or at the very least, to open yourself up to the possibility that there's past hurt and pain, heartbreak that you, perhaps just you right now, my high, my highly powerful, successful women, especially I'm talking to you, that perhaps there's some 
heartbreak, some wounds, some past pains that deserve your full attention so that you can be your highest and best you, right? And so that you can walk into 2021 as your true and highest best self, not seeing life, not seeing you, not even seeing the divine through a heartbreak filter. So I'm encouraging you, one, two, jump into my group, jump into Awaken Your Inner Queen. My masterclass starts next Monday. I've got a surprise guest coming um, for some fun interviews and some interesting transformational stories. That all starts next Monday inside the group. The masterclass is also starting next Monday, including this interview. Um, meet your inner queen and let your past hurt go. I've got an amazing Black Friday special that's coming to you to really make you get queen activated right now. So we're not carrying so much stuff with us. 2020 has shown us we need to drop, drop the crap. We need to get rid of it ASAP um, so that we can always show up in our highest energy and our highest and best all the time. And quite honestly, you've lived it once. You've lived the pain once. Leave it there. Leave it in the past. Don't keep dragging it and bringing it with you. So I'm encouraging you today to jump into the group. Message me about my Black, Black Friday offer that's coming soon. And get, get, get the healing. Let's get into this healing frequency. Let's get into the vibration of the queen so that you can have your best year ever. Talk to you later. Oh, Please share this out. Please share it out to a successful, driven woman that you know might have some heartbreak that she's not addressing. Please share it out. Tag a friend, tag a sis, tag a queen. Make sure you let me know what you think about this. Um, let me know your thoughts, any questions, drop them below. And queens, I will see you in the group. I'll see you in Awaken Your Inner Queen. And I'm excited to deliver this amazing masterclass to help you let your past hurt go. So now I'm going to go hang out with my little guy. So talk to you later. Have an amazing Tuesday.